Why does the H100 cost 10 times more than the 5090? Almost three year old graphic card cost $30,000, while the brand new RTX 5090 released in 2025 cost almost 10 times less. Hi there, Harry here. Today I'm gonna find out why an H100 costs over 10 times more than the RTX 5090. Let's see how an H100 performs in everyday situations like video games, editing and using an LLM, a large language model. Video games. The H100 doesn't even have a display output. You can't connect a monitor, so no video games. About editing, same story, you can't connect a monitor and the H100 has no dedicated hardware for H.264, H.265 or AV1 encode and decode, like RTX cards. The mystery grows. Why so expensive? Maybe inference speed for local language models is better? Since I don't have an H100, I spent some money on cloud GPU service. That could be done for $10,000. Not 10K, but still not free. And because, for some reason, this video is not sponsored, please subscribe. So I tested on Rampod both 5090 and H100. This is the model I used for the test. As you can see, 24 gigabyte in size. I connected the pod to my local open web UI interface and now we are ready for the test. With Olama, the H100 PCI is slightly slower than the 5090 and the H100 XM is 10-15% faster, not as much as expected. The issue is Olama can't fully use the H100. It needs a software from NVIDIA called Tensor RTLM. Rampot provides many Olama templates, but nothing available for Tensor RTLM. The info I get read shows that with Tensor RTLM, the H100 can run at least three times faster and even more with the smaller models. But still, Inference speed alone doesn't justify the cost. The real reason is scalability. You can stack as many H100s as you want, combining VRAM and compute power. To be specific, listen to this engineer who trained Grok4 for XAI, Elon Musk's AI company. And that's why we built Clausus, the world's supercomputer with 100,000 H100. You cannot stack 100,000 RTX 1590s. So here's the point, the H100 is not built for gaming or editing, it's built for massive AI training and enterprise scale compute. That's why it costs 10 times more than a 1590. If you're a gamer, video editor or hobbyist, the 1590 is better in every way, faster for daily tasks, cheaper and far more practical. The H100 plays in a different league. It's designed to scale into giant cluster, link thousands of cars together, and train the largest AI models in the world. That's something the 5090 simply cannot do. So in the end, it's not really a fair fight. The 5090 is for individuals, the H100 is for companies building the future of AI. Two different worlds, two different prices. If you found this video useful, hit like and subscribe. See you in the next one.